Hello, my name is Julian Kunkel and I am happy to give you a little bit of introduction to how to use in the virtual machine Apache web server to deploy your own web pages and a little bit of PHP intro, but that will be a second video. All right, so let's get started. Well, first of all, after we've booted your VM, I just done that here. Um, we open a little terminal here on the left. Let me just do it again. Here we go. We have a little terminal. I will increase the font size, pressing Control plus for you. Now I can type in, in this Linux environment, all the commands interacting with my operating system. On the system that you have here, there's the Firefox web browser installed and there's also Apache and all the needed software that you may need for your final year project, but also for your HCI if you want to do web page development, very conveniently. So you in, first of all, let's input localhost and press enter. What you find here is this error message forbidden because we don't have yet access to the resource. And I will explain you what exactly is going on and how to get started in the VM with it. So the Apache web server here runs as root, which uh, is started from by the root user, but it runs with the user permissions of WW data. So which is a user. So there is some kind of isolation. But this is a different user than the Ubuntu user. So if you want to make changes, what you need to do is you, you best you become root, which I do by you inputting sudo su. And what I wanted to show you first of all is there exists two log files and log files in Linux you find traditionally, sorry, in var log. So if I have a look at var log, you find all the log files that is relevant and we are interested in Apache 2. Apache is a web server, a standard typical one, highly used in industry. So here you find the log files and what is interesting for you is access log and error log. Access log will show any kind of um, accesses. So we see an HTTP GET request here to this resource, to the root resource and we see the browser information and such. But if during your development, what you find very important is to have a look at the error log, right? So I, what I typically do is I use the command tail and I use dash F, which says to follow up. So it will constantly give me any new line and print it to the output. And then I put it in the background using the ampersand over here. Now I will see the error messages. And what we find immediately is that it says here, um, client denied by server configuration home, Ubuntu example. Yeah? So the reason is that this initial default directory, I, I've moved it when I just before I um, prepared and finalized the VM. That's why this error occurs, but we will fix it. And we use this opportunity to understand a little bit how this works. So first of all, under the directory etc, Apache 2, sites enabled, there is this configuration CS config, which contains um, the the web page configuration basically. And I use the nano editor now to show it to you. What we find here is that the web server ho listens to port 80, which is the HTTP port. And then it has a certain email address here and it has a document route. The document route is what is shown here if I type in localhost slash, it's basically the main directory accessed here. So let me just go up and down. So. It expects it to be ex examples HTML, but it's not there. Maybe if you do your own project, um, let's do something like cool project here and change it to it. Okay. Um, or, you know, let's call it just project, that project. Okay. Then I have to change the root directory from here as well. So saying it web project, you find certain options that you could set. There's more information in the web about it. The defaults are typically rather suitable for you. Okay. And that's pretty much this configuration. There is not too much here, but at the end, what you'll find is we see the information about the error log and where the access log is stored. And we have them stored on this Apache log there, which was in var log Apache 2, right? So no change here. Once I'm done, I save it. And then I say any day Apache 2 restart or reload, but I want to really restart the server. And now we get our message. Okay, done. 
and what we need to do in the my home directory I need to create this um, what I called WW project because that's what the server tries to deliver. Now let me reload the page and it says again I cannot access web project. Oh so it's a typo right? So we see the error message here and instead we call it WW project but it was called web project. Okay so let me remove it move it to web project done. Here we go. Now the web server actually for the first time delivered something useful which is the index of this directory and if I create here a file and reload the web browser you see it's there now. So a strength of the Apache web server in my as, it, as I can say from my experience and I used this kind of web development for maybe 20 years um, is that you can implement server-sided stuff using a programming language such as PHP, right? It means it allows you from the client, which is a web browser, to use HTML and JavaScript. And from the JavaScript, you can call on your web server certain activities, right? So I can come back to my VM and in my web, here is my browser, right, which is the client. But here in my Linux machine, which is my virtual machine, I can trigger certain events which is quite useful using this kind of programming language. And I will show you that in another video. This video was really about Apache 2.